what is good everyone it is symmetrical otherwise known as brianna and i just have a quick quick tutorial video for you guys this is what i literally found out yesterday night and i was like what in the hell so we are going to be talking about merch files and how to remove merch files from your game okay so what are merch files so merch files are a bunch of different cc individual files that are combined into one singular file now i know a lot of creators used to do this especially in the past because it was just easier to share and also it was easier for others to download i mean if you want to download some cc and then you see like a laundry list of files that you have to download in order to get the entire set you're gonna be like mm, i'd rather not do that i'd rather just you know download a file and go but unfortunately having merge files you know it does make it easier to download but it can actually slow the performance and speed of your game and that's why in 2024 we are considering merge files as files that we are not going to mess with okay i know in the past a lot of people tried to say that merge files were good and that you should have merge files because you know if you think about it the less files that your computer has to load the the faster your computer is going to move or whatever device you're on but in reality that's the opposite you know just think of a whole bunch of little small files being just crammed into one file a lot can go wrong you know what i'm saying unmerging files can help you get rid of cc that you don't need that you don't use funny story before we get into the tutorial i was doing sim dumps and i was downloading all of the files and everything was good and i realized all of my sims had this one file and it was called a bomber jacket and i'm like i know that my sim does not have a bomber jacket on like what's going on turns out it was a file um from one creator and it was a whole laundry list of different CC that I didn't unmerge. I didn't even know it was merged. So we're going to talk about that in this video. We're going to talk about how to unmerge files, how to get the unmerge files back into your game, and hopefully how to get your game running a little bit faster because, you know, merge files are not always the best. It is always better to get files unmerged. So yeah, Let's get into it, y'all. So the two programs that we're gonna need are Sims for Studio and Sims for Mod Manager. Both will be down in the description, free to download. So when we're going into both programs, first Sims 4 Studio, we're gonna go to content management and that is going to be the main tab we're using. And we see merge packages and unmerge package. So we're gonna be in unmerge package this entire time because that's what we need to be doing. We need to go through these files and unmerge them. Now in the Sims 4 Mod Manager, there's actually a little tab called merge on the side y'all. And I did not know this, I did not know this. So if we're going in our overview, whatever, on the side merged oh my god so that's going to show all of your merge files y'all because what i did not know is that some people don't actually have merged in their file name and that's what i was going off of i searched in mods i searched in merged and i couldn't find anything until i actually went through the sims 4 mod manager saw that tab boom so now we're going to go through all of these and we're going to unmerge them Alrighty, so we are going to just pick a CC. We're going to go with these Angissi male eyebrows. So these are merged. So we're going to go back into the studio. We're going to go into our mods folder and we're going to try to find this file. Okay. And I see it right there. So we're going to just click on it and we are going to choose a location for it. I personally have it in my downloads and boom, there it is. Those are all of the files that were in that one small file. Okay. Or one big file rather. So we're going to delete the file from our game because we already have the unmerged files. Everything we need is there. So we're just going to keep going through this. It was a process y'all. It took me around like three-ish hours to do maybe it was a long process guys like there was so many and i'm actually not even finished i actually um there was a lot of files that i was like eh, i'm gonna just get tomorrow so yeah go through your mod folder and again i like to type in very like distinctive things in the file name so like numbers or like the creator 
just anything that's gonna get me that file quickly, okay? And make sure you're deleting them. Make sure you're deleting the merge file out of your game from the mod manager because there's no point in having all of the unmerged files and then the merge file. That's just gonna create duplicates because it's the, essentially the same files. It's just now instead of just one file, it's gonna be a bunch of like many different files of the same CC, if that makes sense. So yeah, just go through all of these. Some files I wasn't able to unmerge, and we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit once we get there. But yeah, other files that I'm just like, you know what? I don't need these files. I just went ahead and deleted them. Like, don't be afraid to delete files, y'all. If you can't unmerge them or if you don't think that you're gonna use them, don't be afraid, okay? But in this moment, I was like, <laughs> I was stressed the hell out because I'm like, oh my God, I have so many unmerged files and I didn't even know. I, oh, I'm gonna have to blur that out. Oh my God. But oh my God, I had so many files. I was so stressed. I'm like, I have to do all of this but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and speed it up and show you guys the process of just going in sims 4 studio you know browsing looking for the file um typing in the file finding it unmerging it again i put all of my unmerged files in my downloads just so that it's not going directly in my mod folder so I can kind of quality control it. And once I'm adding it back into my game, I can ensure there will be no duplicates. And again, we will talk about that. But for now, you know, just, just chill, just vibe a little bit while I go through this and while I stress out, okay? All right, y'all, so when trying to unmerge these next files, there are a bunch of nose cuffs that I got. It's from FKA, the creator, and it is a part of their symbolic nose cuff set. So this one kind of confused me a little bit because they're all separate, right? But I'm getting that error message that I can't unmerge them. So I'm looking through just to make sure, you know, it's not that one file and I'm, you know, clicking it, clicking on merge. So yeah, it says the package you have either can't be unmerged or isn't merged. So in those situations, it's all up to you. If you want to delete the file, I honestly personally don't even believe that they're merged because look at how separate they are. You know, that's not one file, but maybe they look merged because of just their, their structure. I don't know. But again, it's up to you on, you know, what you decide to do. If you want to keep it in your game, if you want to just go ahead and delete them, I'm gonna keep them. Okay. Because some nose cups is cute. But also I think that they're separate, but they're kind of being flagged as merch for whatever reason, just because they're, um, their thumbnails and the file names are so similar. So I don't know. I'm not too sure. Again, I'm gonna keep it. If y'all have any advice in the comments, let me know because I'm still kind of new to like merge files and you know what they mean and how they get flagged. But yes, that's again, all up to you. What I just realized, two things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing this process. One, when you're looking in your mod folder, make sure you're looking in the correct folder. I have my folder organized by category. So if you are typing in something and you can't find it, make sure you're in the right category because I was in the wrong category and I was like, wait, I know I have this file. It's why, because I wasn't looking in like the entire mod folder. One way to make this go by faster, honestly, Sims 4 Studio actually saves the last location that you opened. So say you're just going through all of your eyebrows, it's going to save um, that file location and it's going to pop up as soon as you press browse, it's going to pop up eyebrows, the last place that you were in. So if you're going to go through all of your eyebrows at once, you could just go through that and just type in the creator and just go. You don't have to keep pressing mod folder, search through your entire mod folder and, and try to unmerge the files. You could just go through that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah. All right, y'all. So we are officially done unmerging all of our files and they are separated into different folders in our downloads folder. So now it's time to put all of these merged, unmerged files now, 
back into our game. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up Sims 4 Mod Manager and we're going to press the little paper clip to import. And then we're going to go through each one of these files. Yes, unfortunately, you have to go through all of them. Um, I tried, my ass tried to cut corners and just highlight all of them and hopefully, um, hoping that the Mod Manager would just extract and only take the package files out of each folder. But no, it doesn't work like that. Um, you have to actually go through and select each individual package file. So as you can see, um, I'm just going through my merged. It's just a couple of files. A couple of merge files is not gonna hurt. I heard that you don't wanna have any merge mod files. So sacrificial mods, I know with the extreme violence mod, they merge their files. The base mental mod, they merge their files. So you wanna unmerge all of those. It's gonna come with a lot of files, okay? But merge mods, will mess up your game so as you can see we're importing and look duplicate file and that is the biggest reason why i wasn't too sad when i couldn't just put them all in my game because it's not going to overwhelm my game so there's not going to be any script errors or anything like that but i can catch the duplicates which is great so again we're importing and we're just removing the folder out of our downloads folder if it's a duplicate and then see duplicate, skip file and delete. And I love that feature because Sims 4 Mod Manager is just gonna delete it from your computer. It's gonna put it right back into the recycle bin so you don't have to worry about that file anymore. So again, a process, but we're gonna keep doing this for all of the files that we just unmerged. And the best part about it is that once we put them in our game, we can actually just, um, we can organize from this menu right here. It's gonna make it so easy. The way I personally like to organize is I pull up the folders tab, as you can see on the side, um, folders, mods, and I like to organize by that because then you could just scroll through all your folders and highlight all the ones that you want to move and then press the little arrow button and then you can move it. And I'm gonna show you that hopefully in just a second after we get through with these duplicates. Y'all, I had a lot of files that were duplicates. And then we're gonna import all and then boom, highlight them, scroll and put in skin details just like that. Alrighty y'all, so that is it for the tutorial on how to unmerge your files. Please do this. Um, I promise you, your game is gonna love you for this. It's gonna run a lot faster. I'm gonna go through and go through the merge files that I couldn't unmerge and I'm gonna try to find updated files because most likely the reason why they weren't able to be unmerged is because they're very outdated, they're very old, they haven't been updated in a minute. So yes, um, definitely make sure to just take care of your mod folder, y'all. I know it's a process, but your computer, your PC, your device, your laptop is going to love you for it, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys took something from this video. I hope you guys learned as I did from this video. I will be having a lot more tutorial videos in the future. So, you know, stay tuned. I just am here to provide y'all with some entertainment and to help y'all with y'all game. Okay. Because I know that not taking care of your game, it will mess up the performance. And in, in turn, it won't make you want to open up your game. And over here, baby, okay, we are Sims addicts. We want to open up our game every day and we want to make sure we don't have any problems. But if y'all like the video, make sure y'all give it a thumbs up. It really helps me in the channel. Make sure y'all, you know, look at my little links over here, okay? I had to, <laughs> I had to fix TikTok because I spelt my name wrong my username wrong on tiktok but it's okay so yeah follow me on twitch y'all it's brianna twitter at symmetrical that's where i post all of my sims tiktok at symmetric kai i will be changing it to it's symmetrical here soon but i will be going live on there and sharing my let's plays there my gallery id is one brianna if you guys want to download any of my sims and i am also symmetrical on patreon if you guys want to download any of my sim dumps see the creative sim mods that i use all that good stuff. Everything's going to be on Patreon for y'all. My live streams, all that good stuff. So anyways, y'all, I hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.